Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Ace Beam E10 flashlight. Here is a closer look at the light. So as you can see, it is a very compact flashlight. The total length is only 3.5 inches. It is operated by a side switch. It has some texture here for grip. As you can see, uh, it has increased surface area on those baffles to dissipate heat. It can tail stand really well. And you see that lens there, which is going to give it superior range as we will show. Here are the stats on the light. I will be reviewing the green model. So as you can see, it has five brightness levels and one special mode, which is strobe. The maximum lumens 1050, but note the maximum beam distance 675 meters. That is impressive. And you can see the run times for each brightness level there as well. This light is powered by a 26350 lithium ion battery. To get at the, the battery, just unscrew the body of the light from the head of the light. That is the con proper configuration. And this is the battery. This is the secret to why this can be so compact. But notice the capacity here. It still gives you very respectable capacity, right? But a short length. Now, this battery is actually rechargeable. And there is the charging port right there. So I have hooked it up to a power bank. You see that red indicator light. When it is recharging, that will be red. When it is fully charged, that will glow green. To turn the light on, press the side switch. To turn it off, press the side switch. To shortcut to moonlight, long press. That is the moonlight mode, the lowest mode. If you press and hold, you will cycle through low, medium, and high. Let's do that now. A double tap will shortcut to turbo. That's the turbo. All right, warning, we're going to have some flashing lights. A triple tap will bring the strobe. And there is the strobe. This also has a lockout function. If you press and hold when it is off, it'll go to moonlight. And if you keep pressing, it'll blink three times to indicate that it is locked out. Now let's do that now. It'll take about three seconds. There you see it blink. So now it's locked out. All right, so it is locked. Now to unlock it, press and hold, and it will blink twice and then go to moonlight and will be unlocked. All right, let's do that now. It takes three seconds. There you go. All right, so now it's in moonlight. All right, so now it is unlocked. At this time, I'm going to roll in some outside testing and demonstration footage and then we'll come back for final conclusions about this light. All right, YouTube, we're out on the testing board with this ace beam light. This is the moonlight mode. Let's cycle through the brightness levels. Low, medium, and this is the high mode, pretty good. Let's do turbo. Nice. Now let's cycle through them once again. Okay, warning, we're going to strobe. That is the strobe. And back to turbo. All right, YouTube, I'm out on the road testing out this Ace Beam flashlight. You can hear Frog Creek over my shoulder. I'm on a bike. Yeah, because I'm getting my exercise in. All right, let's just walk down this road a ways, see what we can see. Go turbo. A little moisture in the air for sure. Scanning the trees. I found many a raccoon in these trees. Many a possum as well. Okay, here it is on the road. Wow. Yeah, look at that river of light. Let's get in behind it and see how far it goes. Nice. Yeah, this is definitely a thrower. That's it. That's a... Uh, Yep, there's, there's the lightsaber. Wow, look at it go down to double yellow. Yeah, that's pretty cool, definitely. That lens does its job, for sure. Look at the focus on this light. You can tell this is truly a thrower, right? You see that hot spot. When we go to longer range, 
that's going to uh, be key to lighting up a man-sized target at distance or a deer-sized target as well. But here it is on the creek. Let's zoom in, you can see the water. Wow, now that is quite the hot spot. Yeah, that's excellent. Okay. Opposite bank, strobe around. So if there was a deer right there, you'd be able to see it no problem. Up to the treetops. Nice. Wow, that's a cool effect. With this green light, you know, I like to pretend that I'm in one of those, uh, like one of the Aliens movies and I'm looking at with the, uh, the special optics. Okay, so I'm on the bank of the, up on one bank of the creek. All right, this is doing well. I'm definitely digging this light. And I look at the water there. Okay, YouTube, I'm on the sports field. I'm standing in one goal and we're gonna try and reach across this field and hit the other goal. All right, let's go. Let's go turbo. Where is that other goal? There it is. Wow. Easy. You see that? This is like a green laser. Look at that. Yeah, you can clearly see the other goal. All right, let me turn it off and without the light, this is what you see. It really is dark. All right, turbo again. Where is that goal? There it is. Well, there you go. Crossing the field with this ace beam. Like it ain't no thing. Let me zoom in. And there you see it. Yeah, bounce the light off the, uh, the field. You can see it even better. Nice. Nice. And again, I'm way back here. This camcorder has great zoom. Way back here in the other goal. This is excellent performance. Okay, YouTube, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that. There are two things that are exceptional about this light. Number one, the compact size, right? Only 3.5 inches in length. So true, legitimate, everyday carry length, like literally pocket sized. The next is the range, 675 meters max beam distance. That is exceptional for such a compact light. I have had colored light flashlights before, different hunting flashlights, but I have never had one that can reach out as far as this one can. I would definitely recommend it in the category of hunting flashlight or just compact, long throwing light. Now the current price on this is around $50, that is very reasonable. And last time I checked, there was a 5% coupon on Ace Beam's Amazon store as well. And there might be future, better coupons in the future. So just click the link. I will include a link to Ace Beam's Amazon store where you can order this and you can check out the latest deals and offers. But around $50, that is very, very reasonable. And it's all because of that 26 350 type of battery that allows them to make this so compact, but it still has great capacity. Now, you know, I use flashlights within a hundred meters. So why do I need something that goes max beam distance greater than 600 meters? You know, can I, can I, do I have eyes like an eagle? <laughs> no, no. But when I see a max beam distance like this has, all that I'm thinking is, if that's the max beam distance, how much is it going to completely dominate within like 100 meters or even 200 meters, which is more likely where I'd use it? Well, it's going to completely dominate. I mean, this will cross a 100 meter field like it's nothing. Excellent light, highly recommended. Check out the links in the text description box. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.